For East Coast Americans of you out there who've been hankering after the perfect bagel, where do you go in Bangkok? Well, we've discovered a place called the BKK Bagel Bakery. They have branches on Sarton and Chitlom, and that's where we're going right now. Two friends, one American and one Thai, found it necessary to bring traditional East Coast American bagels to Bangkok, and so they founded Bangkok Bagel Bakery. These bagels can be described in every bite as chewy, dense, and properly baked. Have your bagel with handmade spreads, cream cheese, and a selection of deli meats. Bangkok Bagel Bakery isn't only bagels. You can also enjoy coffee or a selection of desserts. I'm Aaron Adler. I'm essentially the chef and the operations manager here at the uh, Bangkok Bagel Bakery. Well, the idea came from one of our partners, Eric Selden, had the idea that you know he looked around Bangkok and he's a New Yorker and said, uh, "There's no bagel shops." In Bangkok, and there was a desire for it. So, try the other partner, um, whom he approached. Said, "Okay, well, I've got skills to cook." So he developed the bagel in his kitchen at home, and a few months later, they started a restaurant. The first location was actually here at Chitlom. Um, this was open at the Mania Center. It's been open for about 18 months now, um, and uh, it's been been doing okay. We have a good following, and we were the first bagel bakery in Bangkok. We've uh, recently opened a kiosk in the Saton Thani building in Chongnonsi, and we are planning on opening at least two more branches in the next year. Where they'll be, we don't really want to say yet. So. <laughs> I was actually very surprised. I've been a chef in Thailand for four and a half years, and a chef abroad for 12 years, and it was very surprising to me because knowing how you know Thai meal and dining trends go, it's, it's a very fast-paced culture. I mean, wine bars, for example, there wasn't a, wine bars were unheard of in Thailand, you know, three years ago, and now it says one on every corner. Like there's there's many as there are 7-Elevens. So I I feel like. Ties as a culture, like whenever there's a new item or something that they enjoy, like it really, really moves very quickly. Um, which you can see, there's other bagel bakeries and things popping up now around us. And uh, personally, we don't we don't mind the competition. We like it. We like the market education. We like the growth. We like that things are moving forward, and that more and more people are are enjoying bagels. Um, and we're just glad to be a part of it. Bagel is a boiled bread product that's used, made using high gluten flour. Um, the mixing time on a bagel versus a regular loaf of bread or a bread roll is much, much longer um, because you really want to develop gluten. You really want it to be a chewy, strong, tight piece of bread, and then you boil it to make certain all the moisture and everything gets tightened and sucked into it before you bake it. So. Bagels, um, bagels should be chewy. They should be very flavorful, very chewy, like and and a little bit gummy, too. too. We do everything ourselves in house. We make all of our own deli meats: our turkey, pastrami, corned beef, you know, roast beef, hams. We all make that ourselves, as well as our desserts. We have a New York style cheesecake that we make ourselves. We have cookies, brownies, and we're looking to add a few more things to the menu. Um, we also have some fresh squeezed. Juices that uh, were developed for us by Twist, um, which is a juice company out in Nichida that does fresh smoothies, and they they develop those for us. Um, and we're looking to add some more items to our menu as well. So we're always expanding, always coming up with new ideas and playing with things. When I first came here, I would say it was about 70-30 uh, expat to Thai, and I think that that number of our Thai. Uh, clients have, have grown, or our Thai guests have grown to about 40%, maybe either 35. 
Um, a lot of them are Western educated, but we even get girls from uh, the school that's right next door coming in and they're eating salmon and lox bagels, and it blows my mind because I'm like, oh my god, like high high school girls eating lox on a bagel, like I would have never thought to see that. You know, it's, we're not MK and we're not Shabushi or whatever, so it's, it's really great to see people trying our food and liking it and becoming regulars and continually coming back, you know. Busiest times of our day is definitely lunch. Um, both, at both our locations, um, between 11 and 2 uh, is when we really, really get busy. We really have to start moving. Um, also, for me personally, the early morning before we do all the deliveries, uh, you know, before 5 a.m., is pretty busy uh, getting everything together, getting all the meats and bagels and everything packed and making certain that everything's going where it needs to go. Um, that's a pretty busy hour of my day. <laughs> Our biggest sellers, our most popular bagels, are the lox stock and bagel, uh, which is a lox bagel on cream cheese, onion, tomato, um, with a little bit of caper and lemon. Uh, that's, that's our most popular seller by far. Um, after that, it's probably the Verrazano, which is a house roast beef um, on a bagel with lettuce and a little bit of onions. Uh, then we also have our showstopper, which is a roast, herb roasted turkey, house smoked bacon, avocado spread made, made by ourselves, uh, whole grain mustard on your choice of bagel. Mm, unique, I would have to say probably our Reuben, only because Reuben's normally, is, it's a sandwich that has a very specific construction, you know, you, you have your rye bet bread. Um, to help facilitate the Reuben, what we've done is um, we made a rye bagel. So we have a, a rye bagel that's very flavorful. It's, it's been well received. We just started doing that about three months ago. Um, so what the Reuben is, is a Russian dressing, which is uh, similar to a Thousand Island dressing. It's a little bit more sour, a lot, a lot of flavor in there, a lot of pepper flavor. Um, corn beef or uh, salt beef is what it's known as in the UK, or, I guess abroad, uh, corn beef in America. And then sauerkraut that we make ourselves and then that's all toasted together with Swiss cheese and assembled into a great sandwich that's probably one of my favorite sandwiches on the planet. I would say a bagel is one of the most flavorful bread products you'll ever eat. Um, and it's delicious and it's not just delicious, it's a cultural experience. To, a bagel is very much something that uh, anyone from the northeastern United States or you know even anywhere even in Eastern Europe would would know and love. Like people crave it. It's, bagels are great and uh, they're good for you, sort of.